Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, a quick and very, very good tip that's been sent to me by uh, subscriber Jeff Capaldi. Um, and it's a great one, so uh, before we go any further, just going to finish off the dregs of my coffee, so in my Dance Like Your Dad mug. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Right, so... Um, some of you may have noticed, um, I certainly have, that um, the battery can become quite difficult to get out. I mean, we all like a nice, safe fit. That's great. But um, being able to get it out again slightly more easily would be useful. Especially, I don't know about you, but flying uh, in the wintertime with cold fingers, sometimes I used to find it incredibly difficult to pull this out. And I'm sure part of that was obviously as the battery got warm, the plastics may have swollen slightly and... But that's all been fixed for me now, courtesy of Jeff. Look at that. Nice and snug and secure, but easy one-handed operation. How did he do it? Well, he dropped me the hint that the problem is these little... Let's have a look. These little lugs here, these little notches, rather, that mate in with some lugs all the way in there. Uh, those are what causes the, the stiffness, it seems, and certainly it's cured it on mine. And I'll show you what I do with this untreated battery. What I've got is this stuff. Plumber grease. Um, it's basically anything similar. It's very slippery, it's very thick, but it's, it's for plumbing use and it's for lubricating rubber and plastic o-rings, gaskets and seals. So it's plastic safe that's the main thing and you only need the tiny tiniest bit i found this on amazon in the uk for i don't know three and a half quid for this tube which will probably last me uh, well longer than my lifetime i suspect for the uses i'll find for it but for this ideal and what i did was on this uh, on this notch here just the very tiniest tiniest application just near the front end literally that's enough there and then just sort of work it in with a with a finger and that's it done same again on the other side tiniest tiniest bit that's all you need squeeze it through in with the finger so there's absolutely no excess on the outside it's really quite it's sticky but it's also Slippery, which is kind of ideal for this application. So now this one should be as slippery as that one. In, nice click, straight out. I'm liking this a lot. That is going to make things a lot easier this winter. Um, again, you can hear that latching. It's really just as solid as before. It's just that you can get it out with one hand. Because I tell you what, the number of times I've been there getting out a bit and trying to wedge stuff in and fingernails and all sorts. So that is a top tip Tip from, from Jeff Capaldi. Thank you very much, Jeff. Silicon plumber's grease or something else that's equivalently sticky and yet plastic safe. Um, and just a just little bit on the, on the uh, little bits here on every battery where it meets the inside. Saves you getting your fingers in there and messy, messing about. In. Out, nice and easy. So there we go. If you've got a sticky battery and you're finding it difficult sometimes to release them, try something similar to this. Many thanks for that, Jeff, and um, we'll see you again soon back here on the kitchen table. Cheers.